Alright you guys, so this is just going to be a quick video addressing what step up instruments are. When you get to Crayon to McAdams, you might have a conversation with your band director there about what a step up instrument is, that they might say that they recommend that you get one. What a step up instrument is, is as it says, it's a higher up instrument than what you're currently playing. So the quality is going to be better. So, for example, for flute, your metal is going to be better. You're going to have an open hole and an additional B foot. If you're a clarinet, your quality of the material made of your clarinet is going to be better. The wood is going to be a higher end wood. The metal of your keys is going to be a higher end level. Same with saxophone, alto saxophone, better metals. Okay. Um, same with uh, trombone, better metals. You're going to have that F attachment, trumpet. It's that Stradivarius silver, better metal, better quality made. Okay. Um, and then French horn, tuba, euphonium, bassoon, oboe. Uh, those are the instruments uh, that are provided by the school always. So whenever you move up, your instrument moves up too, meaning the quality of your instrument does. And the school provides it. The reason why the school provides those instruments is because the starting beginner for some of these instruments are five to ten thousand dollars. That's incredibly expensive, and so we don't ask people to go out and spend that much money. So that's why it's a school provided instrument. Okay? So when you do step up woodwinds uh, that are able to flute, clarinet, um, and then sac alto saxophone, and brass, trumpet, um, trombone, if you do step up, um, you know, it's, it's pricey. It's very pricey. Okay. For example, for flute, the starting is like a thousand dollars. So most kids don't do a step up instrument until the summer going into ninth grade. Some kids wait longer until high school to do the step up. Um, why the junior high people start talking to you about step up instruments and why we do kind of slowly is to get that thought in your parents' mind of, um, I might want to make an investment in my students playing. I'll tell you a true story. My parents didn't get my step up, excuse me, step up instrument until the summer going into my ninth grade year. It's because, um, my parents just didn't know any better. I didn't know any better. My band director never told me there was such a thing as a step up instrument until I got into high school and started taking private lessons with an actual like private lesson teacher. I took some in eighth grade and the lady just didn't care, never was really invested in what I needed, just kind of just wanted money. Okay. And so when I got into high school, had a new lesson teacher, my new lesson teacher laughed at my flute, told me this is not good at all for you. Um, I'm going to tell you all. My beginner flute, bless my parents' heart, they had no idea, I had no idea, but none of the parts belonged to that actual model of the flute. Um, all the parts were just different. All different. The manufacturer never made an instrument that looked like that. True story. Okay. Um, so, for y'all, you guys, uh, a step-up instrument, again, is going to be something nicer than what you currently have. A lot of kids wait until going into ninth grade because they use their beginner instrument for outside for marching band and they use their brand new beautiful step up instrument for concert band okay so i'm just gonna this again this video is just to plant the idea in you or your parents minds so that when they you get asked it's something that you're kind of been thinking about now, I will say with what we're currently going through, uh, personally, I could not afford a step-up instrument for myself or my children. So if they, you get asked that by your band director, just if you can't, if you know you can't make that step yet, they understand. Everybody understands, okay? It's just the idea. Um, and the stores do payment plans. It's not like you have to fork over that $1,000 for that flute. Um, they do payment plans, okay? But... It's just, again, this video is just an idea, and so that you can kind of start looking. If you get bored, just Google, you know, high-end flute, high-end trumpet, Stradivarius trumpet. Go to Woodwind and Brass. Go to the Yamaha website. Look at what they have and go like, whoa, that's expensive. It is, but it's just an idea, okay? My step-up instrument, my parents did uh, buy a brand new one, okay? I think it was like $1,000. 
because kind of basic for a step up instrument. And then when I got serious into my playing, my parents then bought a professional level instrument. Do not, I repeat, do not tell your parents you need a professional level instrument. You do not unless you're in high school and you wanted to do this, you know, as a career and going into college. That's the only time when you need a professional level instrument. Um, I'll say real quick, my, um, uh, as I used to teach private lesson flutes before I had children and I had a three time all state flute player and the first time he made all state, it was not on a professional level flute. Just going to let y'all know. Okay. Um, he was like ranked number like 40 something in the state of Texas is one of the best flute players, something like that. 30, I think 30 something. But it wasn't on professional level. And then he got like to number four on a professional level instrument. <laughs> but, you know, that's for kids who are on that track, who are really wanting to do that. He's going to the New England Conservatory of Music. Big deal. Um, he went to Baylor on like a full ride on in playing his instrument. So it's a big deal. It's a big deal. If your parents are wanting to make that investment and they're thinking about it, um, I would say tell them, you know, Mrs. Delgado says maybe possibly, you know, wait until the time is right. And these music stores do big sales. Like they do it maybe like two times or three times a year where they're like putting out all the stops and meaning like they're showing you some of the best stuff for really cheap. So your band directors will talk to you about that at Crams from McAdams and they'll have the flyers out. Music and Arts does it, H&H &H Music does it, because they want you to come in and look at their really nice instruments and consider it.